Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with the working with date and time in the Python. There are two modules available in a Python, date, time and time. Let's go ahead and import those module. So you need to write here import date time and then import time. So we will be using these two module to work with the date and time separately. Let's suppose that your first task to get the current date and time. How do you do that? You can simply do like date time dot date time dot now. So what happens there is another module inside this date time and in which we are calling their now method. All right. So that now method is going to produce you a result like today is 16th October 2022 and current time at my local is 18 hours 11 minute and 53 second this one is the this, this one is the microseconds there all right but suppose that if you don't want to get the time then you can simply do like date time dot date time dot today so it will give you just date there all right okay so one thing we missed there actually this will give you a date here if you put there a date uh, similarly it should give you time as well if i put there time okay the time is not available seems like so the time won't be there all right maybe with the now okay so the now is also not working so it may be a little confusing to you and if you want to know what are other methods available inside this date time directory you can simply do like dir inside this date time all right so this is gonna print all the available method and directory inside the date time so it has there a date time itself a system time uh, time delta the time zone and then time zone information all right perfect so this one is giving you a date time object uh, suppose that you have a task now where you want to create your date time so how would you create these date time object earlier we have seen that you can create a string object something like this you can create a list object by keeping you know the comma separated value inside the uh, square bracket inside parenthesis you can create the tuple but my question is how would you generate a date time object so to generate a date time object like this a date object you can simply do date time dot date and then inside that you need to put first year month and then day if you don't know what are the parameters it takes you need to simply press their shift and the tab it will automatically give you these suggestions all right so in this suggestion you see doc string says that year month and the day you need to give let's say the today's year is 2022 and then the month is 10 and the date is 16 let's go ahead and run this it says that here it takes integer integer values there these parameters should be integers i had given these parameter as a string so you need to keep also uh, these values as integer only now you see there a date time object is created separately like we had earlier from there all right perfect let's go ahead and see how you can get the today's date by importing additional you know additional directories like this date you have there a date and you have a time as well let's go ahead and import those so you can simply do like this from date time import date time all right it's one way to do that another one is from date time import date time and date and then you can do import date time date and time as well now you don't need to do their date time dot date time you need to just simply do here like date time dot today you will get here all right so all the information about the today uh, similarly you can do for the date as well so the date dot today so you will get here a today's date similarly you can do with the time as well so the time dot you need to press their tab so it will give you all these uh, it will it will give you 
you know uh, these suggestions which you can use there so today you can get the hours you can get the minute and then you can get the seconds as well suppose that i want to get the today time dot r maybe it's like this okay so the time dot hours is not available seems like okay all right anyway so that's not callable no issues we are just gonna ignore this one i was just predicting that this could be uh, callable let's go ahead and see how we can use date time with the time delta that's mean if you need to find out the difference between the two date then how would you do that okay so but before that let's go ahead and add few cells here all right let's go ahead and import our uh, uh, the time delta so you need to do here from date time import date time and date let's go ahead and create here a two date there so i'm just gonna create here date one equal to date which i had earlier 2022 and then 10th of this month and let's say the day i'm gonna put here a one and then i'm gonna just put here a date two so the date two is like 2023 and then I'm going to just randomly select here January month and 10th of January. So I have these two date. If you do here date 2 minus date 1, you will be getting there a time delta. So this says that there are 101 days difference between these two dates. That means if you are given with the two date and you want to get the difference between difference between uh, you know the dates you can get those like this okay uh, let's say I say here you know the t delta equal to this and t delta is of course 101 date you can get this till t delta into number of days as well okay it says that number of days is 101 and similarly t delta dot you can get here the total seconds total number of seconds there all right the total number of seconds between these is these all right so you can apply these time delta methods to get days and seconds the similarly you can get many more like uh, you can get their uh, seconds microseconds you can also get the minutes as well there the total number of minutes there okay uh, seems like minutes are not available so we can ignore this one the minute one all right perfect all right finally now let's go ahead and see if you are given with a string and then you need to convert that string value into a date time object then how would you do that let's say you have here a date string equal to today's date 2022 and this is october 10 all right it's something like this all right you have something okay this is a bad uh, you know the bad formatting so i'm gonna say here a uh, 10 october 2022 so you are given with the date string something like this now i ask you to get get the date time object something like this then how do you do that okay so it's very much simple you need to use their uh, strp time method there so that's the strip time method there that you need to import from date time or you can directly use that so you can do like this date time dot strp time okay you know you, you, you need to reformat these time so i'm just gonna put their date string this this date string i want to do formatting on this date string and the type of the formatting which i'm gonna use there the type of formatting is there a day so there i say here a percent d and then it has here october which is the first three letters of the month name which you can which is actually defined with the capital b so these are the you know the terms to define a date there okay these are the standard terms you can you can search here uh, you know the date formatting you know uh, date formatting uh, 
formats you can get those images there right uh, maybe let me show you we should be getting those somewhere it's not here I think it was earlier perhaps here something like this yeah so there you see the B is long month name and and this one is the short month name okay so I need to put here a small B letter and then there is the comma thereafter we need to put their year so the full year name is defined with percent capital Y let's go ahead and run this and then see what happens do you see there it says that here it, it, it converted our uh, you know this date string into a date time object there all right so this date time object has become there 2022 that's the year month and then the October a 10th of October there is the day and we don't have any uh, any anything else like uh, li like hours and the minutes that's why these are the zero there all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this I'll see you next one